we were shooting a lot of six five Creedmoor and we got into it pretty early. So I want to say at this point I've probably been shooting six five Creedmoor maybe six or more years. Um, it, it is more or less our 308. So being heavily involved with mat shooting, we ran 26 inch barrels with muzzle brakes and those guns can get pretty long on their own. Um, but they're very specific built rifle for shooting matches. Um, we started playing with suppressors and what happened was Dane got an elite, elite iron suppressor. We started messing with that thing and we were enamored. But we really disliked how badly it increased the length of your rifle. Um, I'd honestly say it made it unpractical, at least from my point of view. Um, so we started chopping barrels. We started at 20 inches. It was shooting great. Velocity was pretty solid, but you know it, it was still flirting with being too long. Then we said, "Screw it!" And we we went 16 and a half inches. And you know we found that the accuracy nodes were generally pretty wide. They weren't picky uh, with their zero and, and a shift from suppressed to unsuppressed. And all these attributes, you know, added up to you combined it with being short and handy. They just ended up being very capable, very practical rifles running suppressed because you don't end up with a lance for a jousting match, but you had something you could shoot a match with, you could do some hunting with, and I mean still a thousand yard capable rifle, but you weren't going to get penalized by having this 30 inch joust. And, and once we, we started doing that and we started shooting them and, and realizing the other benefits, I mean they they were there to stay and both Dane and I you know, more or less from that point, have kept a short barrel 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, they just, they beat the shit out of 308. Now, I like running the heavier bullets. Um, I run 139s out of my 24 inch match gun that's built on an Ultimatum U300 receiver. So I'm typically buying these things by the thousand. Um, if I can, I like just shooting the same load between both guns. I've head spaced them the same, the brass is interchangeable, they're done with the exact same reamer. Um, so from that standpoint, you know, you're going to be about a mil under your match gun at a thousand yards. But if you look at the windage, you're not penalized as badly as you think. Energy on target is also pretty solid. But the short barrels, they really come into their own when you utilize a faster burning powder like Varget. I've had good experience with uh, XBR 8208 um, and lighter bullets. So the, the 120s, the 123s, and you can get those things going 2,800 feet per second. With a suppressor, you get a little bit of freeboard boost. Now you're 2,825, flirting with 2,850. And running Sonars at 28 in my, uh, 139 Sonars at 28 in my match gun, you know, you, you'll notice inside 800 yards, the dope is the same. It'll start to drop off a little bit as you approach 1,000. But by all means, I mean, it, it's just an extremely capable combination of, uh, of you know, Varget, XBR 8208, Sonar one two three, and and a sixteen and a half inch six five Creedmoor with a suppressor, and you know now you got something that is shooting like a match gun out to eight hundred yards, nine hundred yards depending on your conditions, um, and, and that's when to me the short barrels really come into their own.